Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at three action cams that are high definition and gyro stabilized that you could mount on your Promark Shadow GPS drone. Uh, these are three popular ones that are out now that um, provide high definition, uh, even up to 4K and have gyro stabilization and we're going to see which one does the best job stabilizing so let's take a look at each first let's start out with the Eakin 4k v8s this one is fully stabilized with um, electronic image stabilization and has even 4k at 25 frames per second stabilized but for today we're going to do 1080p at 60 frames per second stabilized so that's this one I have a feeling this one will probably be the best but then we're going to take a look at this one the Firefly 8s this is very similar in technical specs to the Eakin 4k they both have the Ambarella chipset on them and this one is uh, also has gyro stabilization, so we're going to take a look at that. And then this is the older SJ4000 uh, camera. It has the Novatech chip set in it, and it also has the anti-shake uh, function. So we're going to record all of these at 1080p, um, 60 frames per second, 60 or 30, um, and we're going to take a look and see which one looks the best. Let's start out with the, the Eakin 4K. Let's take a look at how this performs with the Promark Shadow GPS drone. take a look at the Firefly 8S and see how that performs as far as stabilization on the Promark. Dark Star Music. <laughs> Dark Star Music. 
J4000 uh, cam or the F23 Soco cam. Uh, we're gonna see how that anti shake works. Let's try it. That was a good flight and uh, I looked at the stabilization of each of these cameras. Now a lot of this could be subjective and uh, we're not necessarily looking at quality here. Uh, we're mainly looking at how smooth and steady the footage can be. So out of all these three, the SJ4000, the Firefly 8S and the Eakin V8S. Um, the one that seemed the most stable to me was the Eakin 4K V8S. This was uh, clearly a smoother, more stable footage out of this, so that's that. I hope you found this information informative, and uh, see you next time.